Alright, so today we'll be talking about how to merge your files, your M4S files together to create a single MP4 file. Beforehand, I already created another video and that video allows you to play them straight from their M4S format. But what if you know you want to send it to a friend and you don't want to explain to them how it's, how it's supposed to be done, right? Or how to play it directly. You want to merge everything together and send them an mp4 format so that they can play it with any video they want or any video player they want right so the very first thing you need to have is the nv downloader yeah and uh how you can get that out is to search for it on google right so just go to source source uh, just go to SourceForge and here you see the download button and this should be where you're getting it from right so when you download it um, you get it in the zip format and here I've got my data set so typically when you extract a data right you're gonna have the two mp4 file right these are not the real mp4 file right these are just the guiding directions you have uh, two MPD files, and then you've got you know all your M4S file in audio and video format, where you can see here the second one's audio, and then you can see the video format as well that you want to merge together. Yeah, so I've got my raw data set here, and then I've got the MV downloader here. So let's go up and open up the MV downloader, and you'll find out that look, you know, you need to extract all to run it. Please do extract all. Find the area where you want to extract them. Click extract button. Yeah, and then there you have it. Yeah, I have got a file here with the MV downloader. Go ahead and open MV, run as the admin. And here you've got the actual window itself and the application. What you want to do is go straight to process file. So this is where you want to merge, you know, the hundreds of mini M4S file together into a single file. But before we do that, we need to pre-process your data set, your data file first, yeah? And how do you do that? First, I think what we need to do is create two folders. I'll name this audio. I'll name the second folder video. And I'll name the last folder output. Now just put in numbers in front so that you know, they can line up correctly. Right, so I've got a video output file, audio output file, an overall output file, and my raw data set. Now what you want to do here is first, you want to copy all of every single file with the word audio in it and put them into your audio file. Yeah. So for me that's about 486 files. And together with this, you want to bring the mp4 file with the audio word over as well. So here's me pasting it and there you go yeah I've pasted everything into the audio file and repeat the same thing but for the video file so I'm going back to my raw data set yeah I'm selecting this and I'm bringing forward all of my video files as well that's uh, again 486 video files and my one video mp4 file, I'll copy them and I'll paste them in my video folder. There you go. This is step one that you need to do. Now, the second thing you need to do here is to rename this video file to make sure that it ends up in front. Yeah, because every bit of this contains some data and they are all numeric numerically aligned. What I'm saying, yeah. So, what you want to do is make sure this file ends up at the top when it comes to the naming convention. And what I typically do is that, you know, I'll just copy the name here and I'll rename this and I'll paste the name here. But instead of one, I'll put zero so that I make sure that this file always ends up on top. Yeah, go to your audio file and do exactly the same thing. So copy the name here, rename your mp4 file and then change this to zero. 
what this basically do is that you know when you sort by name right this mp4 file will always end up on top and this is important for next step once you're done you have both your audio and video file and now you're ready to work with your mv downloader so navigating an mv downloader is difficult but you get used to it yeah again click on process file not the download step but the process file step yeah um, and navigate to wherever you know I've I've got my file in so basically I have it in my documents and then I have it in a folder called envy right and the very first step I want to do is work first with my video file yeah so here you can see these are all of the files I've I've copied and pasted and I want to extract all of them so click extract here and what you notice is look you know I mentioned before right that it's important for them to be in sync in a numerical order so you need to sort by prefix and number and you realize that you know the mp4 file is in front and that's what we must make sure that it happens next step is to concatenate these files yeah and then uh, I'll put them into my output folder right as I've reflected before so here's my output folder in the output and I'll call this video and I'll save it. Yeah, you're expected to see this uh, this command center come out and you know some processing going on. So typically it would take longer for the video file because of the sheer size of it. Now I'll probably skip through this, but yeah, once you're done with this, you'll be able to see look, your first file output is done. And then now what you want to do is go back to your audio folder and do the exact same thing. Extract files, make sure all the folder is here, sort by prefix and number, make sure it's numerical, concatenate them, and then I'll put I'll name this as audio. Now save it. Same thing, you're gonna have this command window pop out, and once it's done, you're gonna have an audio file here. Now the last step is to combine both of these files, right? So click on this join file button you are there I'm ready at my output folder right so if you're not ready there you need to navigate there yourself and the first step you they will tell you to choose video file so you need to click on video press open second step choose audio file yeah so you need to click on the audio and open so make sure you do it as per the instructions here once I open both and they want me to do an output so uh, what's important is to rename this output dot mp4 yeah make sure that you include this dot mp4 here and press save and press ok right and you're gonna have a window and now you've got an output and i'm going to play this with vlc media player and there you go you have the entire video in an mp4 format ready for you to share